Hey everybody, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to make a beautifully simple and absolutely delicious Greek baked feta dip or spread. So first things first, preheat your oven to a high broil setting. We're going to go hot and fast on this because basically once we're done, we're going to pop it in the oven, let it go for maybe five or six minutes to get its color on top and we will be good to go. So first things first with this recipe, I'm going to start by caramelizing some onions. And I like to do this because I think adding a onion that's cooked is way more flavorful than just adding raw onion and just uh, broiling it. So I'm going to take one onion, I'm going to quarter it, put it into my uh, food processor here. I'm going to take one clove of garlic as well because... I think a little background hum of garlic is absolutely fantastic. That's good there. Going to get this here and get it on. Just It'll only take like literally a few seconds. That's it. And that's pretty much it. We're ready to go. So for this, all I'm going to do is take it off here. I'm going to take maybe a couple, three tablespoons of my Greek EVOO or one good glug and put that on there and I'm going to get this to start cooking here. Now let me just juice that up a little bit. Take this thing here and just empty it out into my pan. I'm going to use the mixing bowl again for this so I don't care if it's clean or not it's all going uh, for the same thing. Now that my onion is well on its way to cooking down with my garlic, the next thing I'm going to do is throw in some uh, pepper, fresh cracked black pepper into this. All right, perfect. My onions are done, the onion and the garlic. Time to get the actual dip together. So, first things first, I'm going to take about, not much, a 50 gram a uh, piece of graviera and all I'm going to do is take this and just pop this into my food processor first. The next thing, I'm going to take one pound, yes, one pound of feta and this is where it's important where, you know, a nice good quality feta makes a difference and just break it up into pieces here. So let the machine do all the work for us. And this will actually turn this into like a fine puree. Now, I'm going to take one egg, crack it in here. That is going to be our binder for the, the dip itself. So it doesn't become like this runny, gross mess. So we don't want that. The next thing, a little bit more fresh cracked black pepper. I love fresh cracked black pepper. I'm going to take a little bit of paprika, not a, not a lot, just a little bit. Let me move this here out of the way. I'm going to take some parsley and this parsley, again, you're going to do maybe a cup of parsley in this and you're going to put it in at this stage along with maybe a tablespoon or two of my Greek extra virgin olive oil. Perfect. Just like that. Let me just put this in there, and there we go. This is where the magic happens, baby. A little bit of food lube. I'm going to throw in a little bit more of my extra virgin olive oil. I want that flavor, but I also want the viscosity. Let me see how this is working out. It's going pretty good. Let me just grab a spatula here. And it's going to try and scrape the sides off a little bit. This is going to be so gorgeous. Put that in there and buzz that around again. The next part of this is my onion. And I'm going to take my garlic and my onion sauteed very, very lightly. 
I don't want to add too much color to this. I just want to bring it to the point where my onion is translucent. And that's what I want. That's perfect. Just like that there. A little bit more olive oil. Now, this doesn't go light on the olive oil, but believe me, it is absolutely fantastically worth it. So, put this here, this here, there. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas, baby. All right, so now I'm gonna take a seven inch, you can use a six or seven inch baking dish for this, a ceramic baking dish, which is totally fine. I'm going to take a little bit of my Greek EVOO or my extra virgin olive oil, get, put that on the bottom for a little bit of added uh, lube. Now with this, I'm going to take this and slowly look at all this goodness. This color is unbelievable as well. I'm just going to leave this here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this into my my baking dish and you want to get all of this goodness because this is all flavor my friends this is totally totally all flavor and if you're stuck in a jam and you got some unexpected company over you know what this is the perfect dish for you so there's this just like that perfect and look at this you don't have to have anything smooth or whatever. You're not, uh, you're not uh, troweling cement. This is just like that. Now, along with this, I'm just going to put this here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grate a little bit of nutmeg on the top. That's the kicker for this recipe because it's that little bit of zing that is going to give this such a savory and beautiful flavor. And that's all you need. You just need a few strokes, a hint, just a little kiss. That's fantastic right there. So now that we've added our grated nutmeg on top, the last thing and the kicker or the icing on this cake is a little bit more gruyere or graviera. So now this is going to go under our broiler for about five or six minutes or less until the top is GBD, baby. Golden brown and delicious. <laughs> this is literally right out of the oven. It is so good it's actually like overflowed or overspilled but that's okay this is so worth it now this is just so freaking amazing how it actually smells now for this very very simply serve this with a little bit of veggies celery carrots some pita would be fantastic crackers would go well with this and this took me no more than literally about 20 minutes from start to finish you're going to have this immense depth of flavor you're going to have the sauteed onion and garlic you're going to have that olive oil the parsley it's just unbelievable my friends i'm not even going to attempt to try this so there's going to be no spoon toss today but I will promise you that you will love this. And it's so easy when you're in a jam, make this and you're done. So that's it for this episode on my baked feta dip. Hope you guys like this. Thank you for your time in watching this. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button and uh, let me know that you like this video. Share your comments or thoughts. And also don't forget to check me out online at kensgreektable.com for this recipe and so many others. So that's it, until next time, I will see you on the next one. I thank you so much for watching, bye for now.